Hello and welcome to the Remedy Fibers podcast, a podcast about knitting and crochet hosted by me, Jillian. If you're new here, welcome, and if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Even though fall has started, I wanted to dedicate this video an ode to summer, talking about some garden shopping that I was able to do this weekend, my new finished object that's made out of plant fiber, all of the sweaters that are made out of plant fibers, and if I actually wear them. So if you're interested, stay tuned. But if you're new here, I live in Northern California with my husband and dog Benny. I love everything yarn related and I hope you stay for my yarn journey. The reason why I have so many plant fiber patterns made is because I do live in a predominantly hot climate. The climate here is similar to the Mediterranean climate level so you can grow things pretty much year-round mild winters really hot summers it's very dry here there's almond farms nearby i would say majority of the fruit and vegetables come from california so it's pretty hot where we are and because of that because i knit and crochet i'm going to talk about everything that i've made and whether i actually wear it or not so let's get started with some footage I took this weekend of me plant shopping, heading to the garden, and planting some new plant babies. So this summer there wasn't a lot of crafting going on. It gets past the 100 degree levels here where I live and I just was not in the mood to craft and it also was too hot to craft for my personal comfort. But I was able to cast off some things including the top that I'm wearing. So let's talk a little bit about what I'm wearing today. So the finished object that I have today is the Captiva Crop by Laura Murphy. It took me about two months to finish it and this is made out of plant fiber. I used Severn Fingering by Terrapin Fiberworks. She is a hand dyed fiber artist over on the east coast and I really love the color of this. I love the drape. I love the finish. Overall, I love the fit as well, so I definitely will be wearing this next spring and summer season. For this pattern, you have to know how to slip stitch, double crochet, and treble crochet. And if you do decide to cast this on, I would say once you make your starting chain, to do one row of single crochet, just so that when you join in the round, it's not so flimsy. I struggled that with one other pattern, and then when I did this one, it made it so much easier to not twist while I tried to join in the round, because this is worked from the top 
down you separate for the sleeves you kind of just cinch it in work the body and then come back to elongate the sleeves but it's so pretty i love the color it feels like silk even though it's 100 percent plant fiber so tensile is the material used in this yarn and i did a little bit of research to teach us about what tensile actually is it actually requires less water to produce than cotton fiber and it's regenerated fiber made from wood pulp a process that involves chemicals however 99 percent of these chemicals are recovered through the recycling process in an eco-friendly process so all of this i found on tara pin's website she kind of breaks down what is each fiber and where it comes from just so that you're making conscious decisions when you invest in plant fiber some other things to know about this fiber is that it's similar to silk but it's vegan it's soft lightweight and it's perfect for summer tops so because i live in a hot climate i am often looking for hand dyed plant fibers or plant fibers in general because it's literally too hot to wear anything in wool during the spring and summer season. Sometimes even with fall now, it's going to be 90s this week, so it makes it hard to pull out the sweaters. So next up, I'm going to talk about the seven plant fiber sweaters that I have here that I've already made. Most of them I've made within the last year, and some of them I did complete this year, so I'll be telling you which ones I actually completed this year and try them on for you as well. So the last finished object that I have that is made out of 100% cotton is the Ranunculus by Midori Hirose. And this one I just cast off back in September, early September. This one uses universal cotton yarn, so 100% cotton. And overall, I like it. The only thing that I'm not such a great fan of is that it pills a lot. And when I was wearing black leggings, the green fibers kind of went all over it so i haven't actually worn it with jeans yet but i like how it fits i like the finish and let me try it on for you now so i really like the drape of the ranunculus the only thing that i wish i did a little bit different was follow the pattern when it comes to the bind off for the sleeves and for the hem i had to improvise because things kind of went wonky and i had to make it work so overall i like the size of it i like the fit of it the drape is really good the only downside is the pilling but this one is 100% kind I haven't actually worn it when it's really hot outside so it's a little bit on the thicker side because I want to say this is DK weight but we'll see once we start getting in those hot temperatures for next season if it's going to be able to cool me down and not overheat me when it starts getting 100 degrees outside Next up, we have the Fall Pullover Sweater by Wanipa Juncker, and I loved it so much, I did make this twice. I made the long sleeve version for this one, and this is probably one of my most worn crochet pieces. So the yarn that I used for this was 100% cotton, and the yarn that I used was the Great Adirondack Yarn Co. Organic cotton fingering. So I love the drape, I love the fit, I feel like this pairs so good with jeans, and let me try it on for you now. I love this sweater so much. This sweater actually inspired me to find what colors pop, make me pop, that really accentuate my features. And I ended up taking that color match quiz to see which colors suit me best. And that's when I realized that red is one of my colors. It really, it does something. It, it makes me happy to wear it. I love how it pairs with jeans. It's very flowy. I like the bell sleeves. I don't think the pattern Oh, no, I think the pattern does have bell sleeves. It makes it kind of sophisticated and fancy when I wear it out. So next up, we have a second fall pullover sweater by Wanipa Juncker. And even though you purchase one pattern, you can modify it for long sleeves or you can make three-quarter sleeves or short sleeves. So this one is a three-quarter length sleeve. I added the edging and I also added these crochet motif flowers that doesn't come with the pattern. But I just searched up crochet flowers and attached those. This one is 100% cotton, also by Terrapin Fiberworks, but this one is in the Atlantic fingering this one is severn fingering so this one feels more like a cotton and this one feels more like a silk and this one was finished early this February and I actually haven't worn it that much it's a little bit more on the crop side I wish I made it a little bit longer but I'm hoping I can just find the right jeans to pair it with but overall I am happy with it I just haven't really found a way to fit it in my wardrobe so it's really cute I really didn't give it a good 
chance this summer season and one thing that i struggle with even though i want to knit and crochet in the summer and wear what i make through the hot season the reality is sometimes it is just too hot and i have to just stick with a tank top to wear it in this crazy heat that we have but it's really cute i wish that i actually wore it this season but i just need that right that right piece to make it chef's kiss as the youtubers would say so next up we have the sleeve island sweater by april gapuani this yarn is cotton blend from spain it didn't come with a label but it definitely feels cottony and i really love it. it gives me all the spain memories if you're interested in watching me yarn shop in spain i'll include the video up here sadly i have not worn this and let me try it on for you so you can see why so i love the fit i love everything about this the sleeve is super cute however i did not prioritize finding something to wear underneath it I recently just got this white tank top and I need something where it's going to hide. I don't want this, this sleeve showing. It's maybe like a tube top or a bandeau. Something that's going to hide this part so it actually looks like sleeve island, one sleeve completed. And I never got around to that when I went shopping. I never had that in mind. So I wasn't able to wear it comfortably. I think one time I did try to wear it and like tuck this in down below. It didn't work and I didn't want to just wear a bra and nothing else underneath. So that's how come it hasn't been practical and I haven't actually worn it out and about. But maybe I will do a darker color. Maybe do it in a way where it's not see-through. I have a hard time recommending this pattern because there weren't measurements there is a way that the pattern is written so that you can modify it and try it on along the way while you're making it but i can't confidently recommend that unless you want to give it a go and take the risk in making it it's not difficult to read or find find your measurements but that's the only downside is that there's not like a small medium large extra large there's no sizes you kind of have to trial and error and make sure you wrap it around your body to see if it's fitting so that's the only downside other than that it's really cute i hope i can wear it next season so next up we have the my boy lollipop by nancy see Richie. I love this pattern so much that I think I knit it four or five times. But this one is 100% cotton. It's also by Terrapin Fiberworks in the Chesapeake DK. So this is Chesapeake DK. This is Severin Fingering. And this is Atlantic Fingering. Obviously, I'm a fan of Terrapin Fiberworks because I like the hand dyed, but I also like the plant fiber aspect. But this one is so cute. I got this for one of her one-of-a-kind sales. They were mismatched dyes. So there were, there's different dyes in here that I kind of alternated skeins and I love it but I accidentally put it in the dryer and even though it's 100% cotton it still shrunk up a little bit so it's definitely way more cropped than I'm comfortable wearing outside. So I used to wear it all the time but because it got in the dryer it hasn't really been worn much. So let me try it on for you but I really love the color. I'm so here for a dark eggplant purple-ish color. You know purple is my color. So it still fits pretty good. I love how the dryer did kind of cinch it back up and give it its life again. I just need to find a high-waisted skirt or high-waisted jeans that's going to complement the top and not make me feel uncomfortable about my stomach area. But this is the My Boy Lollipop by Nancy Ritchie. I highly, highly recommend. One of my favorite designers, so gifted and talented. Next up, we have the My Little Secret Crop Top by Jessie Mae Designs. And this is how it looks. I wore this a lot. It's starting to pill and kind of get a little bit frazzled. And this one is also a blend of cotton but i also put it in the dryer and it also shrunk up and over time sometimes plant fibers tend to stretch out and not regain its oomph, its life and when i put it in the dryer it did regain its life but it does sag after a while it starts to get droopy after a while so this is loops and thread cream cotton 87 percent cotton 13 percent nylon and I also haven't worn it much this summer because it's thick and for 90 degree weather, 100 degree weather, it's just way too hot to wear it. I also think it, it's so thick that it kind of bunches when you wear it. It's not the most pleasing aesthetically on me so that's one reason why it has kind of sat in the closet but I'll try it on for you so you can see. Ignore my tank top under but... This was one of my favorite pieces since I haven't worn it and it's sat in the closet for a while. It is giving me 
a fitted look but after a while especially in the heat when i'm sweaty it starts to bunch up and get droopy as well the yarn how it lays so i love the color i love the price point of this yarn i got it in michael's i think you can also get it in joanne one of those big box yarn stores but it's not something that i think i would want to wear for the summertime at least in this type of tank top material all right last but not least one of my favorite patterns i knit this last year and this is the boardwalk blouse by the poison girls and the reason why this is one of my favorite pieces is it gives a vintage retro style it's elastic there's elastic in here it is cotton bamboo silk and elastic nylon so the pattern asks that you use a yarn that has elastic in it because it factors into the the stretch and the negative ease so i love the colors this was such a fun project to make however it's not practical in day-to-day -day wear it's very hard to match things with purple and white i didn't think that through maybe if you picked more neutral colors you can pair it easier and this one is knit in panels that you have to attach but i would make this again i love how it looks i love the feel i just have a hard time incorporating it in my day-to-day -day wardrobe isn't it so cute i have not done this baby girl much justice this summer i also want to say it doesn't cause me to overheat in these high temperatures because of the cotton bamboo and silk combination it's stretchy it's comfortable i just if you know how to pair this or i know green goes with purple but you think green is gonna go with stripes that's very hard so maybe with jeans i'll try to do a better job incorporating my plant fibers into my day-to-day -day wear but this season i definitely struggled when we had record heat waves so I would say after everything that I showed you today, the piece that I wear the most is the fall pullover sweater by Winnipa Juncker. The holes are not too big where I feel too cold. I could wear this in the summer. I could wear this in the winter. I love the color. I love the fit. And the one I wear the least would have to be the fall pullover sweater by Winnipa Juncker. This green one that I made to cropped and this white one, the sleeve island by April. I've never worn these out in public. Everything else I've shown you, I wore in public. I wore for my day-to-day -day work, my weekend adventures. But these two have not seen the light of day. So that's all that I have for this week. I hope that even though summer has left us and we are now so excited as knitters and crocheters to enter the fall season, make cozy, comfy sweaters, that this can be an inspiration that you can knit and crochet during the summer seasons wearing what you make given that temperatures were really high this summer but also let me know how you incorporate your plant fibers into your wardrobe that's one area that i want to improve this upcoming season in the fall and winter making sure that i'm making things not just for fun and not just to show you all but that they're practical that i can wear them from year to year that they're comfortable sometimes i get so impatient that i want to cast off so quickly that they're cropped and then i can't wear them so anytime i start to lose that patience i put it aside come back to it so that i can make things that i'm actually going to wear but thank you so much for stopping by today i hope that you and your family are happy healthy and safe and i'll talk to you soon take care bye